So do you have some example of showing how they do it in a concrete way or maybe from continental? Mm -hmm. Again, looking at IoT data as a foundation, we can use that. We can put together then the structured data from like vibration, temperature, pressure sensors, etc. Mm -hmm. We can bring together then unstructured data, so like uh, SOPs, PDFs, etc. Mm -hmm. And we can even bring in information from, say, um, MES systems or ERP systems. Mm -hmm. And we can bring this all together and then feed that into a generative AI model through a RAG model, we should refer to. And the ability to do that in the different types of data and expose that to someone mm -hmm. to be able to get their hands on quicker is essentially the value statement that generative AI brings. It's just getting information faster. And then the cool thing is, is then when you start to bring that together with, say, your more traditional AI models, uh, like a predictive maintenance model, when you bring them in all into the same environment, you can start to ask very interesting questions. You could say, you know, when is this pump likely to fail? And then from that, making that prediction, you can then convert from the predictive state into mm -hmm. the action state. And that action state is where then you can use generative AI to ask questions like, well, why, what, what is, the, what's the reason for that prediction? Yeah. And it's giving you then the, the, the vibration data from the past two days and saying, okay, the, this decision is being driven by this, um, this behavior 